Hey, Sarah here with Nest Happy, and in this video I'm talking all about free time and to-do lists. Now, I am a firm believer that you're never not going to have anything on your to-do list, and I've done a lot of study of time management and mindfulness and just general happiness techniques, and I am now, I live and breathe trying to incorporate a little bit of free time for myself, like when I can get it every day as to, as much as possible. So um, for instance, the other day I had a really productive morning. I think I ran like seven errands in the span of like three hours or something. And I had literally like a 10 minute window where I went on a local hike for 10 minutes before I had to go and pick up my kids. And I was in the middle of the hike. I'm like, is this crazy? I hadn't even set my timer for 10 minutes, but you know, it was totally worth the 10 minutes to just be in that space and, you know, with the fresh air and it was great. And even right now, I mean, my kids, I'm actually supposed to be making dinner and I wanted to sneak in this quick video. So I put a show on for my kids and this is kind of like a five minute thing for me that I wanted to do. So hands down, I recommend trying to sneak in five minutes here and there and do something that's fun for you. Um, other things that I love to do is go to yoga. I try to sneak that in as much as possible, especially, you know, there's a yoga place with childcare, which helps a lot. Um, and I love to eat good food. And um, now that my kids are a little bit older, I'm, I am sneaking in some shows at night. Um, but otherwise, yeah, just living and breathing, you know, taking a few moments to myself, trying to get, you know, a little bit of gratitude time in. Um, I'm not quite meditating yet, but I think I'm on that track. But that's kind of my mantra and what I hope my clients can incorporate in their life, in their lives. And it, you know, it kind of, if you step back a little bit, that's where a lot of my systems come into place where, you know, if you have a system for laundry where you're not always doing laundry, you schedule it, then you actually free up some, t some value, valuable time at night after the kids go to bed where you can, you know, actually relax a little bit. You don't feel like you have to be always doing something. So if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye for now.